The year is 1994. Prague, Czechoslovakia is still finding its footing after the Velvet Revolution. The year 1989 saw the end of communist rule, a rebirth for the country. The Velvet Revolution had brought a peaceful end to decades of oppression. The air crackled with possibility, a new era dawning. The streets were alive with hope and the promise of a brighter future. And what better way to celebrate freedom than with music? Music that transcends boundaries and unites people. Pink Floyd, the band whose music challenged walls both physical and ideological, was coming to Prague. Their arrival was more than just a concert. It was a historic event. For Czechs, Pink Floyd wasn't just a band. They were a symbol. A symbol of resistance, of hope, and of the power of art to inspire change. Their music, smuggled behind the Iron Curtain on bootlegged tapes, had represented freedom and rebellion. It was a lifeline to the outside world, a whisper of liberty. Another brick in the wall had become an anthem of resistance. Its lyrics resonated deeply with those who longed for freedom. Now they were going to play it live, in a Prague free from the shackles of its past. The concert was not just a performance. It was a celebration of newfound freedom and a testament to the enduring power of music. The concert was set for June 20th on an island in the Vltava River. A massive stage, large enough to hold the band's legendary light show, was erected. The stage faced the Prague Castle, a potent symbol of Czech history, now bathed in the glow of Pink Floyd's lights. The location wasn't lost on anyone. It was a powerful reminder of how far they'd come, from darkness to light. The anticipation was palpable. Fans, some who had travelled for days, camped outside the venue. The air buzzed with excitement and a shared history. They were about to witness history being made again. As the sun set, casting long shadows over the city, the crowd swelled. Over 100,000 people packed the island a sea of faces illuminated by the stage lights. When the band walked on, a roar erupted that seemed to shake the very foundations of Prague. The show began. Shine on Crazy Diamond filled the air, its mournful notes echoing the city's past struggles. But then, the music shifted, soaring into the anthemic learning to fly. The crowd, many of whom never thought they'd see this day, went wild their voices blending with Gilmore's soaring guitar. The concert was more than just a performance. It was a shared experience, a cathartic release for a city and a country shedding the weight of its past. The music transcended language, uniting the crowd in a way that only music can. Pink Floyd, once a symbol of defiance, was now a symbol of unity and hope. The concert's legacy extended far beyond that night. It helped to solidify Prague's place on the world stage, not as a city once hidden behind an iron curtain, but as a vibrant cultural hub. It was a testament to the power of music to heal, to inspire and to unite. Section 5. Gilmore's Echoes a life beyond Pink Floyd. David Gilmour, Pink Floyd's guitarist and vocalist, has never been one to rest on his laurels. Even as Pink Floyd became one of the biggest bands in the world, he continued to explore music on his own terms, releasing solo albums that showcased his distinctive guitar work and songwriting. His solo work, while carrying echoes of Pink Floyd's grandeur, often delves into a more personal and introspective space. It's a space where Gilmore's own voice, both literally and figuratively, can shine through, untethered from the expectations that come with being a member of one of rock's most iconic bands. Section 6 30 years on, 
new music from a familiar voice. Now, 30 years after that historic concert in Prague, David Gilmour is back with a new solo album, a collection of songs that feel as timely and timeless as ever. The album, titled Rattle That Lock, is a testament to Gilmour's enduring talent and his ability to craft music that resonates deeply with listeners. The album is a sonic tapestry, weaving together elements of rock, blues and ambient music. It's a mature and reflective work, grappling with themes of time, loss and the search for meaning in a world that often feels chaotic and uncertain. Section 7 Meaningful Whispers Exploring the sound of Rattle That Lock The album's title track, Rattle That Lock, is a driving, bluesy number that showcases Gilmore's signature guitar work. The lyrics, written by Gilmore's wife, Polly Sampson, speak to the need to break free from the constraints that hold us back, to shake things up and embrace change. Another standout track is A Boat Lies Waiting, a poignant tribute to Rick Wright, Pink Floyd's keyboardist, who passed away in 2008. The song is a beautiful and haunting meditation on loss and memory, with Gilmore's vocals conveying a deep sense of longing and sadness. Section 8, A Legacy Reforged. Echoes of Pink Floyd in Gilmore's solo work. While Rattle That Lock is undoubtedly a David Gilmore album, it's impossible to ignore the echoes of Pink Floyd that reverberate throughout the music. The soaring guitars, the atmospheric soundscapes, and the intricate layers of sound all contribute to this feeling. The introspective lyrics, they all hark back to the sound that Gilmore helped to create. His voice, both in terms of his singing and his guitar playing, carries the weight of history and the promise of new horizons. But rather than being derivative, Rattle That Lock feels like a natural progression, a seamless blend of past and present. It's a continuation of a musical journey that began decades ago, evolving with each new chapter. It's a testament to the enduring power of Pink Floyd's music resonating with fans old and new, as well as to Gilmore's ability to evolve as an artist while staying true to his roots, continually pushing the boundaries of his craft. Section 9. Time and the River Flow. Music's enduring power. Just as the river flows endlessly, so does the influence of music. 30 years after Pink Floyd's historic concert in Prague, the echoes of that night still linger in the hearts of many. The music they played that night still resonates, creating ripples that continue to inspire new generations of listeners. It's a reminder of the power of music to transcend borders, to break down walls, to bring people together. Music has a unique ability to unite people from all walks of life. And it's a reminder that even in a world that often feels dark and uncertain, there is always hope, always beauty, always a melody that can lift our spirits, always something worth believing in. Music gives us something to hold on to, something to believe in when times are tough. David Gilmour's new album is a testament to that enduring power. It captures the essence of what makes music timeless. It's an album that looks back on the past with a sense of reflection, cherishing the memories and lessons learned, but also looks forward to the future with a sense of hope and optimism. It reminds us that the journey of music is never ending, always evolving, and forever inspiring. Section 